Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 84 of my Elden Ring playthrough. We are back in the Anzil River. We came running after Rani, because that seemed like a good idea at the time. And then we ended up finding this thing. A doll resembling Rani the Witch. From head to toe, every detail is perfect. This unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. Why we would find this on a grave as the first thing we get down here, I do not know. But there is one person that we should very much take this to, just to check. And no, we're not taking it to Celebus. That sounds like a horrendously bad idea. No, we're going to take it to EG. Since Blyde is currently MIA. Off killing another traitor, we assume. Greetings, my fellow. Can I not? Lady I cannot. Rani has departed along the dark path. Now, Lady Rani. I pray that you... Yes, okay. He cannot explain to me. Oh, by the way, um, I'm wearing this helmet because the helmet... Or this hat. Because this hat is the only thing that increases ice spell damage. So I didn't mind losing the defense of my helmet. Um, because I could compensate for that for... I think I put on... Tougher Greaves that have higher defences. I think that's what I did. So yeah, that's why the hat. Okay, let's see if we can find the real one. We also need to work out why we can talk to the doll. Oh yeah, we can't ride down here. Uh, let's swap to that. I think I actually probably want to be on my... Um, twin blade. Let's have sort a of peek over here first. It definitely looks like this is a place where something exists or will happen. I hate that the um, ground here is so low or so close to the water. Okay good. At least the um, drop off is very very obvious and readable. Okay, there's nothing this way and I can't see a place I can jump to, which is good. So that's just set dressing. Again, I can't mount my horse here. I don't know why I keep trying. So we do have to bear in mind that they may be ants, but I definitely saw things up ahead that I do not care for. Namely, that thing there going to throw gravity magic at us. Oh, we can summon from here. That's not a terrible idea. If I can get its attention, then... You could do a lot of damage, but you're also going to die pretty damn quickly if it decides to attack you specifically. So I don't think we'd do anything with her in the minute. Have you seen us? You did actually see us. That thing hasn't seen us yet. Yes, spear dudes. And the backwards attack. Okay, they can be afflicted with frost. At what point do you start attacking me?
I want to actually be able to keep my eye on you. I am shocked you are not attacking me yet. I could almost get close enough to hit you. I want to minimize the chances of me getting attacked from behind. Okay, you're another spear, dude. Okay, now you see me. Okay, you're using your usual attack, that's fine. I wonder if... Uh, it depends upon where Lynetta is going to target it to attack. Because I can summon her. I'm tempted to um, actually even move the... I'm tempted to actually even move the charm that gives me... Um... In fact, I will. The amount it gives me is just so negligible it's not worth it. Let's go back to this one. Because this makes sense for a dex build. Okay, Lynetta has one hell of a range. We know this. So let's make sure you don't attack me from here. Okay, you are now. You've seen me. That's a problem. to engage and attack me. I was worried about. Bombing Smithing Stone 7, but that's specifically for killing a boss like thing. Oh, thanks for the bat uh, cover. I forgot about the backswing. Leave 
want to be careful. We don't want to accidentally um, unsummon her. Daggers, they'll come over here in a bit. Smith and Stone Falls. Ghost Wart 6. Excellent. You get an upgrade. And another one. We have two upgrades. I was going to say, what the devil is that? It's a plant. It's fine. It's a Miranda flower. Hey, we actually got their attention now. Oh, come on, just out of range. Okay, there's at least one more behind here. Still plenty more enemies for us to kill. Although we are more interested in these things. Oh! I get the feeling I shouldn't be here yet. <laughs> That's a ghost wart six and seven. Oh, you've seen me, have you? I'm not going to get a back attack on the other one, am I? Well, that works. She's already opening fire, so... <laughs> You're going to roll at me. They're not coming. Now this one is. But she's kind of aiming at the wrong one at the minute. There we go. Okay, you're a spellcaster. So we know how to deal with you. Bait the spell, run around the back of you. And eventually it may give me a back attack. That, I think, is everything. Oh, you're still here, Lynetta. Interesting. I can get two I can get my two rare ones up to seven now. This is disconcerting. Yeah, this is the path we're meant to go. That is the way forward. So that even means that we've missed an enemy. Or... The range of that obelisk... Oh no, we already... You know, I'm never quite sure whether or not they're meant to disappear when you kill all the enemies in an area. They disappear when you kill a boss, but I'm almost certain I've seen them disappear strictly because all the enemies in an area have been killed. Do you have line of sight in the flower? 
I think you have line of sight. What I don't think you have is range. My god, you have the range. That's frenzy. I want to do a thing just because I want to see if it can act, if it actually works. Okay, so first things first. We do that. Then we switch back to two hands. Then we do that. And now we have fire and ice. What the hell? Since when do they explode? Is it because I'm setting them on fire? Or are they exploding when they die? And the net will help us see. Oh god. If I'm gonna- okay, we need to test this, but we're testing this in a safe manner. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do not set these things on fire. They don't like it. <laughs> Duly noted. Ah, I've gone past it. Where is it? Come on. Stone sword key and there's everything back. And now Lynetta has disappeared. Okay. There's at least two of them over there and I'm fairly sure that's a one way trip. Expecting the double stab. Just a long reach and wait for the pullback. They are still doing a lot of damage in spite of the fact that I've removed my thing that was giving me increased damage. Claim and ashes. I don't think that way is safe to go. Yep, nope, not safe. Not that it would have led us anywhere in, or anywhere that we want to be going, but it was a path we could take. Or at least it's a path that's on the map, which is why I wanted to check it. Okay, we almost have enough to level. We need to be careful.
Oop, I see ants. How did we deal with them last time? I think it was mostly with... my twin blade. Although some ants will actually leave you alone. But I don't get... I'm expecting these guys aren't. Although they are conspicuously placed, we can clearly see them. Yeah, there we go. Ah, the range on this thing. It hurts. Kind of wish there was a button just to craft more, but I wasn't planning on using these. I just wanted to make sure I had a full stack of these. No, the plan was to swap these back to that. Uh, we need to craft some more of those. Uh, item crafting, this is the right menu. Bring that up to five. That up to five. That up to five. And then the extra one can go in that. Let's change to fire. on the timing of these guys. Oh. Flying ants. I didn't bring my gravity magic with me. Um. They take sh um, strength. Strength-based magic. Or strength and int. Uses FP to cause a gravitational explosion. Uh, I don't want to risk taking my pot off my bar. Well, that was stupid. Can we get them one at a time? What are we looking at directions wise? Okay. That's not the route we need to go down. But I don't strictly speaking trust that these guys aren't going to come after us. slow, but that doesn't mean you're not extraordinarily dangerous. Oh, goddamn flaws. Quick. I'm not entirely sure that is another queen. Shield grease. I want to know whether or not there is a um Sight of Grace. Mm. 
Look, still our eternal city. There's a side of grace, but... Oh, we can get back up here. There's... Oh! You guys have tamed the ants. That's an ant riding twin maiden. We'll double back slightly. We want to see, um... The miniature... Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. <laughs> Fine. Okay. You're a little bit snippy. You've turned into a small doll. I'm guessing that wasn't deliberate. We'll do what you ask. <laughs> Why not? Let us speak of the past a while. I was once an Empyrean of the demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers as a candidate to succeed Queen Marika, to become the new god of the coming age which is when I received Blythe, in the form of a vassal tailored for an Imperium. But I would not acquiesce to the Two Fingers. I stole the Rune of Death, slew mine own Imperium flesh, casting it away. I would not be controlled by that thing. The Two Fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since, and the Baleful Shadows are their assassins. Ah, this makes a lot more sense. I am glad I picked you up. I am glad we are having this conversation. I am more than happy to help you now. Although, why are you a little doll? Also, Celebus is trying to turn you into an actual one of his dolls. Can I tell you that, please? I would like to grass him out. I turned my back on the two fingers, and we have each been cursing the other since. The Baleful Shadows. Okay. We will do as you ask. Can I... We cannot. We have to fight something an ant back. Well, we do not have an ant to fight it. Or a horse. But maybe we can compensate for that with high ground. Although... Whoa! That last sweep is so long! They are no slouch. Okay, let's go deal with the Ant Queen. At least what appeared to be an Ant Queen.
So she was one of the ones chosen to be the new queen, but she didn't want to obey the two fingers. Okay. Let's burn a bunch of these. Oh, you are not a queen. What the hell are you? I don't like the look of you. This is not a good place to crash game. Whew. Game trying to cheat me out of my victory. I had a perfectly good time dodge roll waiting. Going this way seems like a bad idea. Going in any direction in this game seems like a bad idea. That thing there is permanently dead. This is the way to get up here. Well, kind of. Run and jump. Run and jump. <laughs> sort of. Run and spam jump and maybe you'll get up. Yes, the other chest. I entirely forgot this thing was here. Seen any enemies? We have yet to encounter a um, mimic chest. Which in and of itself is extremely disconcerting. This is a weapon. Ring of Astel. Standard weapon, I think. Curved sword? Interesting. Strength and dex, so it's a good one for us, although we can only have one of them. We'd probably need two of them. A sword fashioned from delicate wings, suffused with magic of the stars. Strong attack unleash is a wave enchanted light. Crafted from a relic of the natural or crafted from a relic of the natural born of the void, uh, who said or who is said to have assailed the eternal city. Unique skill, nebula. Imbues the natural born wing with magic and sends forth a dark cloud of stars that lingers briefly before exploding. So this is a unique weapon. I think it's um, a weapon we can use, so out of curiosity, I'll see what it does. It's 
so that's a strong attack. It's a loud weapon. I'll give it that. Um, yeah, that's the way you get up. Can we get back this way? Or do we have to teleport? I mean, if we had to teleport, that's fine. Because I kind of want to teleport anyway. I just want to get somewhere a little bit safer where we can um, test this out a bit more. Okay, it is an actual slash. Oh god, I like this weapon. <laughs> this is a perfect weapon from uh, someone doing a similar sort of thing to me. Uh, an actual heavy mix of dex and int. I would take this weapon into PvP, I think. But I would love to also have a second one of them, which would require a second playthrough. But I'm fairly sure if you play or if you do a second playthrough, you can get all the weapons again. So that's how you collect two of them on a new game plus. But yeah, that's a, that's a look cool weapon. I like that one. I may level that one up, even if we never use it. Because it's not like we have much in the way of things we're actually going to be using somber smithing stones on. We have a few staffs and that's about it. Speaking of which, we still haven't got enough to level this up. We need to get it to plus 10, otherwise we may as well be using the meteorite staff. And then it will boost my um, sword sorceries. Or blade sorceries? Yeah, no, they're sword sorceries. It's glintstone blade, and then the slicer and everything else counts as sword sorceries, these things. I do realise that I am defaulting to this a lot, but it is a fairly good all-round weapon. Particularly against mult or a um, groups of enemies. If I'm up against a specific single enemy like a boss, I almost always switch back to sword and um, staff. Okay. Hmm, do we want to disappear back and get... For the sake of getting my two... For the sake of getting Lunetta and, what is it, Dini? Dini? To plus seven. Oh, I didn't realise I had these at plus six already. I mean, yeah, we may as well. Even if we can't use them here, we've only killed one enemy in this area. Be quiet for a moment, uh, Lanny. We need to head back to the Table of Lost Grace. Our spirit tuner. Friend. Greetings. Are you here for s uh, Do we have enough for all of this? We don't. We're going to need... Well, let's get that up. We're going to need another, call it 20,000. Well, I took you no matter to lay out your own. Probably don't need quite as much as 20,000, but... Should be enough. Greetings, are you here for... There we go. They're now plus seven. We haven't got Grave Wart for these two yet. Although I imagine I know where I can get it. I'm just loath to go back in there how badly it went last time. I don't want to duplicate an Ash of War. I want to um, duplicate a weapon. <laughs> okay, we actually have six of these now. So no reason not to give that an extra level. This 
still missing two smith and stone threes. And I don't think we have anywhere near enough smith and stone fours to bring it all the way up to these guys. Hazard of using six different weapons and none of them. Oh, right, yeah, that has an upgraded version of um, Kadavi Granger. If I'm going to give myself a little bit of strength, I could use that. That's not the weapon I was thinking of. This was the weapon I was thinking of. We need more faith if we want to actually use that weapon, which doesn't fit our build. I don't think we have an explicit ice type sword that we could swap out this for. We could swap out Roger's, uh, Roger's blade for this one. But I don't think we're going to get as good a... Um, well, we can't enchant this one, that's the thing. Let's level this up in case we ever want to use it. Oh yeah, now it's only showing me stuff I can afford because we've used most of our funds. Oh, I have duplicate weapons I can probably sell. Probably should sell. Hmm. Now that's arcane. We're using this one because it has some int scaling. But I need Smith and Stone Freeze, which we don't have enough of. We probably will end up using this one once we can actually use it. But that's going to be a long way away. Okay, that will do for now then. Let's head back. Yeah, they did respawn. Hmm. I was thinking about something. I really do need to get this staff upgraded. And the reason why I say that specifically now is Glintstone Ice Crag does so little damage versus um, Ice Spear. And if we want to be able to use it, we need to actually have some degree of power from it. Yes, it has a slightly higher range, but only slightly. Okay, we can back attack you. Let's try and sneakily get a feeling for exactly who and what is here. Okay, we have one over there. I see a couple of mimics over there. That's going to need a um, stone sword key. There is a path on that side. There appears to be something over there, but I think that may just be more of this stuff. Why, hello! Is 
It's a shame that doesn't do damage. I really wish it would. Oh, beautiful. I do love a good chain reaction. Particularly when you didn't plan them. Okay, there's a door behind us. So I wonder what Vani's end game is. At the minute she's just after killing the assassins that are after her, she obviously doesn't want to become a god. Otherwise she would follow the will of the two fingers. Or maybe she does, she just doesn't want to follow the will of the two fingers. <laughs> nice surprise attack. You couldn't have seen that come in. Stop trying to attack through the wall, it isn't fair. I think we actually already have that. That's a... that is a coffin. That looks like a door. Hmm. I oh, know we already picked that up. I heard someone draw a sword. Who or what are you attacking? I see you up there. This is very dark. It being very dark makes me think that there is very much something here. Skeletal arch rashes. I thought I already had something like that. They're definitely attacking something, but what? What has you mimics riled up? Oh, you have shields. Are you supposed to be mimicking the phalanx? Is that what you're supposed to be invoking? Well, this seems to be hyper effective against you. Although, not with that equipped. It does have the rather inconvenience of me not being able to see them. They're not using ranged attacks, but still. I 
actually, I wonder. You you wait there a second. I need to check if I have a particular piece of equipment. I have lightning arrows. I said, wait. Do we have lightning pots? Uh, the pots are way up here. Let's see if we can craft them first. Um, oh, we're in combat. We can't craft them. Okay, let's... You have a shield. We have a means to pierce shields. What happens... to you if we do this? Now you have to be pre-electrified. That does go straight the way through you, but... Ghost Glove Wart Pickers Bell Baron. So it's another one of those. So this will be three to six. These were at the bottom. Sorry, four to six, yeah. So now we can in theory bring them or bring all the renowned ashes up to six if we wanted to. However, what we could really use is a um Three and four. What we could really use is a three and four explicitly for them. Um, smithing stones. Given where this is aiming, I'm almost certain this is going to miss. Golden Moon's 10. I see you. Sneaky. I also hear that. I just can't see it. There you are. Real sneaky. We have Mimics here. One of these has to be a Mimic chest. Has to be. Summer's Mission Stone 7. I wonder if there, there must be. There, there must be a mine I've missed in the Kalari Wilds. Kalid Wilds. There must be a um, mine I've missed in the Kalid Wilds that has... The smithing stone ones. We don't even have one for summer. No, we did get one for summer smithing stones. We start with one with summer smithing stones, don't we? I don't remember if we got one for later though. Okay, so there's a bunch of explodey dudes. Um, we haven't got to the door yet, have we? Here it is. Although this looks like an exit rather than an entrance. I see at least two of those dudes in there. OK, 
guess the entrance must be on the other side. Oh god, it's one of you. This is absolutely not... Doesn't have the range. What are you going to do about it now? Hmm? I don't think this hits you. That does good. Marvel tier. Just seeing that thing slowly roll towards you. Is menacing in, in and of itself. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's top up. You know what? I think we have a spare. I want to keep at least three of these. And these things are hitting me hard enough that I think this could give me that little bit extra that may save my life, assuming I don't make a mistake before that point. Okay. Probability we can sneak up on them? Nil. Probability there's something else in here? High. You have a mace. You both have the mace. So what is in here other than you two? Yeah, that's what I figured. One at a time. In fact, one at a time, we don't even need to fire them in there. Come on. You'll dodge this. Or you won't. <laughs> that works. Let's bait them to the door again, where they don't have a place to roll away. And maybe they'll hit the door. Okay, there is... yeah, there's slightly def different variations of their armour. There is a chest in here. Is there only one? <laughs> Night Maiden and Swordstress Puppets. Interesting. They are puppets as opposed to um As opposed to something we can cast. Um, we still haven't checked the lower part, but we're this way up anyway, and it's about time we ended the episode. There's plenty for us to explore up here. Can I see another side of Grace? No. Oh, it continues along there as well. This place is a lot bigger than I was giving it credit for. And that's not even including... Yeah, that's not even including the fact that we know that there is another giant area. Where would it be? 
here. There's another area here, but it's under... This must be the way you get to it, otherwise the only way to get there would be a teleport. There's the big dude. Oh! That dragon must have jumped down from up here. Or that hole in the roof up there, either or. Anyway, we'll call it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll continue our exploration of this area tomorrow. So hopefully, I'll see you next time. Cheerio.